Hi. Right, this is only going to be a really brief, um, short, short video on inequality signs. This is the, really the last thing on the whole unit you need to do. So, and it's one of those awkward little things that probably doesn't take an entire lesson, okay? So, we're go I'm going to talk about it here, and then I'm going to let you get back to all the other things that you need to get on with, okay? So, inequality signs. Now, the reason it doesn't take a mega long time is you've already met them. Okay, you actually met them in primary school. Okay, and it's where we have these signs here. Okay, now I, I hate when people say this sign means less than and this sign means more than or whichever way around because actually they, they're the same sign, it's just backwards or forwards, okay? It's been turned around. So this one here that I've drawn pointing this way, it means the number on this side is smaller than the number on this side. Okay, this is the big side. And I know what a lot of you learned in primary school is that the um, the crocodile mouth <laughs> opens to the bigger number, okay, because it wants to eat it. It works, okay, if it helps remember it. Brilliant, okay. I really like that analogy. So the same thing here, okay. The bigger number is on this side in this case and the smaller number is on this side. So I know we, we tend to say it means less than or it means greater than. Actually, the sign, there's only one sign. It's just been flipped over, okay. And as long as you remember... That this side is the smaller side, the smaller numbers on this side, you're fine, okay? Now, they're the ones you already know, and I'm going to introduce you to a couple of new signs, okay? Or one new sign, similar thing to this, okay? And it looks like this. Okay. Now, it's the exact same thing with, if I cover up this little bit here, an equal sign, okay? And what this means is that the number on this side, I'm going to I'm going to call these numbers A and B just for now, okay? It doesn't mean anything, but it just means I don't have to keep saying the number and the number, okay? So what this means is that A is smaller than or equal to B. And that's important, okay? It's not just smaller than, it could be equal to B. Okay. So for example, if I had the numbers um like this, okay. 6 is less than 7, absolutely right, okay? It is, is less than or equal to, okay? Now, we could have used this sign here, couldn't we? But there are occasions where it's important to know it's less than or equal to, because quite often we do use letters when we're doing these in algebra, okay? And this works the same over here, okay? We've got B is greater than or equal to A, okay? It could be the same. So these numbers could actually be the same. We could have 5 is less than or equal to 5 okay it could be 5 now you might think well what on earth is the point in doing that okay the point is the reason that we do these is because actually we're not always working with integers okay and remember integer is a whole number okay a whole number obviously the more and more math we're going to do the more and more decimals you're going to meet okay and that's when this sign is really really helpful it is really helpful because what it means when we're using the decimals is that I could say a is less than or equal to let's see 7 okay so a could be any number less than or equal to 7 so it could be 6 it could be 7 it could be 6 it could be 5 it could be anything less than that negative 1 negative 2 forever and ever okay it could be less than or equal to but that's if we're looking at our whole numbers don't forget of course it's all those decimals as well if I had written this though, a is less than 7, what that means is that a can be any number up to 7, but not 7. So it could be 5, it could be 6, it could be 6.5, could be 6.7, it could be 6.999 recurring, okay? As long as it isn't 7, it can be any number up to 7, okay? So they're just some random numbers I've picked out of my head. Um, but that one there, 6.999 recurring, it could go on forever as long as we don't get to 7. Okay, and that's why these signs are really important to know the difference, okay? Because, of course, if I said A is less than or equal to 6, okay, I think, well, maybe that solves the problem, okay? It doesn't, because it doesn't include any of these numbers that are between 6 and 7, right? So that's those. Now, I'm going to send you some practice questions to work with those, okay? They're the kind of thing that become a little clearer once you've had a go at them. Now, there's another thing we're going to look at as well, and it's only a small one. And it's very similar. It is linked to that. It is linked. And it's when we say things such as this, okay? So we've got 1 is less than m. 
which is less than or equal to 4. Here's an example, OK? And what I'm saying is that the number n, whatever m is, it's a variable, we don't know what it is yet, but it's got to be bigger than 1 and less than or equal to 4. And for this, I'm going to tell you these are all integers, OK? I'm not worried about any decimals at this point, OK? I'm not worrying about decimals. I'm just talking about integer numbers. So what could m be? Could m be 1? It couldn't be 1. It has to be bigger than 1. It can't be equal to 1, OK? So it could be 2. It could be 3. 3 is between 1 and 4. And because of this equal sign here, less than or equal sign to the m, it could also be 4, OK? There are all my options that m could possibly be. So this here where it doesn't have the equal sign, this is just, we call it strictly greater than or strict, strictly greater than or strictly less than, depending on which way it's pointing, OK? means it has to be bigger, it doesn't include this number, but if there's the equal sign, it does include the number. OK, let's try another one. So this time we've got 5 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 10. OK, and I've just used an x this time, I've used an m, you could use any variable, I'm just using different variables so you can just see these are just representing a number, OK? I'm going to use a different letter each time. Right then, so 5 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 10. So x could be x could be 5, because it's greater than or equal to 5, so it could be 5. And it could be all the other numbers in between 5 and 10, so it could be 5, it could be 6, it could be 7, it could be 8, it could be 9, but it can't be 10, it's got to be less than 10. It can't equal 10, OK? So there are my numbers that it could possibly be. Right, I'm going to do one more, and then that's it. I told you this is going to be a short video. It is one more example. Less than or equal to 7. OK, now then, this one, we're looking what P could be, OK? P has got to be greater than or equal to 6, so it could be 6. OK, it could be 6. And actually, it's less than or equal to 7, so it could be 7 as well. This time, we've got the equals on both of them, so they're both included, OK? So there are your... There's three different examples, OK, where we're looking at integers, whole numbers. I'm going to leave you with those. I will send you some practice questions. Just have a go with those. Um, other than that, enjoy the rest of the lesson.